Hi guys, welcome back to another Mobility Monday, and it is episode 15 today, I think. Yeah, week 15. Um, so, yeah, so my advice to you this week, guys, is to keep moving, because I would have said the last two weeks especially, when I've like had like little conversations with people, people are telling me that they've got really stiff hips, and their hips are suffering, um, so when they've like finished a run the hips are feeling battered or if they've done a hit session the hips are feeling battered or if they're not training and the hips are just feeling generally stiff and um generally stiff i think that the people who are suffering with this are the ones who have be become drastically more sedentary than what they were prior um to lockdown so i think three months has basically just taken its toll so I'll put on a mobility session tomorrow as normal, but I'll make it orientated around hip mobility because um, I'm one who's, who's struggled with it as well um, over the last couple of, I would have said the last month more so than ever. Um, but if mobility sessions aren't for you guys, um, just some quick easy tips you can implement into your day-to-day -day life is uh, get up and down off the ground as much as you can um, and kind of get up in different ways and get down in different ways. Um, as long as they're comfortable um, and they're not hurting your hips or your body tells you not to do something. Do you mean? So as long as your body is happy doing the movement that you're um, implementing to get up and down off the floor, crap on. Okay. Um, another thing you can do is you know, when you're walking up the stairs, instead of taking one step at a time, you can take two or three at a time, depending on how tall you are, because um, that'll help open your hips up a bit. And if you're someone who wouldn't want to do any of them and you you like your runs, then maybe power walking might do you a bit of uh, good because it'll give, you, give your joint a bit of a break, but still keep the joint moving. And uh, maybe some like active recovery. So if you have like a bike or a rower or anything like that in the house, you can just do like a light, say 20, 30 minutes just to get some blood flow in. That might help uh, a little bit as well. My, my go-to would be the mobility sessions and the getting up and down off the floor. Um, pretty much in the order that I just explained. And then, you know, big strides up the stairs, uh, power walks, and then maybe some active recovery. So if you are struggling with your hips, guys, just get moving as much as you can. And if you're struggling for ideas, tune in tomorrow for Mobility Monday, and I'll make sure it's tailored to you guys, okay? Hope everyone's uh, safe and well, guys, and uh, I'll see you soon. If you need anything, let me know.